all right so let's get started i have a few collections um i have a travel size collection which i'll go through that um they're all packed away because we're getting ready to go on a trip to atlanta my favorite place um but we will go into the ones that i have here at home and then i have another perfume rack um at another place at my honey's place so uh i have to smell good everywhere i go so yeah we'll go over that um when we get there or i'll put it in a separate video but whatever anyways we'll go over the two out of this collection that i got for christmas um i'm also going to pick up the billy eilish today that's my christmas gift for my mom um the calvin klein euphoria was a gift to myself and i'm gonna tell y'all i'm a one ounce perfume girl only because i feel like if i buy a big bottle i'll never get the wear out of it that it really needs like I mean I feel like trying to wear all of this is going to be a challenge I have so many that I can pick from that I just feel like getting the smaller bottles are cute and plus they like all kind of match in size um I get bigger bottles and ones that I really really love but anyways this is a one ounce this is the Calvin Klein Euphoria really love it it's a Mm, I don't know. It's a grown. It's grown and sexy. I'm not gonna lie and tell y'all. I'm gonna give y'all notes and stuff because I'm not. <laughs> You're gonna have to Google it. This um, I sprayed this on me and instantly had to have it. I got this out of Sephora. Ooh, this one is one of my favorites. It's the Chanel Chance. This one. Oh, it's a very fresh, like tangy smell, like. But when it dries down, it's like so sensual, but it's definitely giving fresh just out the shower. Um, it was, uh, I smelt this on my cousin's counter and like put it on my wish list. And once I found it in stock, I grabbed it right away. I grabbed this from um, a Macy's in Tampa on the way to catch a flight in Vegas. So super cute. I love how most of my perfumes have a story. This is one of my faves. This is My Way by giorgio armani um it is intense and baby girl is intense you don't need a lot of her this is my date night scent but she's very when i smell it it's giving patchouli lavender rose mm, and like a white chocolate but yeah definitely worth the buy i think this one is a 3.4 i think this is the big the big bottle yeah but it's intense and as you can see it doesn't take a lot but super cute my way by Giorgio Armani this one is adorbs this is the Ariana cloud and it smells just like that of course you guys know that comes out it just smells like bubble gum and clouds if you were laying on a cloud and playing like this is what it would smell like I don't really pay attention to the notes and the perfumes only because like when I spray perfumes on me, they smell totally different than when I smell them on anybody else. So I buy perfumes based off how they smell on me. So yes. Uh, my first, this one started it all. This was my first lux, I guess you say luxury perfume. Um, my biggest bottle that I have. It's a Valentino Born Aroma. And this is giving date night, sexy, accomplishment, graduation, um, just like showstopper, like tap me my shoulder. I get so many compliments on this one. So many compliments. Coming back around to Ariana. I am an Ariana fan. I have not smelled her new ones that just come out, but I am going to smell them. This was my first Ariana fragrance and I love it. She's the OG that started it all, but my favorite again it's giving you that sexy sweet smells like romance so definitely ariana i believe this is ariana by ariana grande this one is very sweet and i don't like that the uh the pink pill i'll work on that one for this packaging but the pink pills um this one smells like candy like if you rolled around and pop rocks it, it smells good though smells good i like it this is a more this is my beach scent um these two i pair a lot on vacation um 
when I went to Turks and Caicos, this was my go-to and I got so many compliments because the dry down and the way it mixes like, well, let's be honest, sweat is good because if you're on the beach, you're sweating. Sorry to tell you. This is one of my fragrances I own from Zara. This is Femme. This is like a, this is what I wear to work when people care if I have on spray light. You know how you go to those one jobs and it's always that one person that like got a comment on the fact you got on a fragrance. This one is light and airy and it actually doesn't stay on that long. Um, but I also have another one from Zara that I'll show you in my other collection. This one I lost the top in travel, but this one is called Nights. And I got this from Charlotte Russe. Now, if you have a Charlotte Russe in your area, definitely hit them up for their perfume. They have a brand called Refuge. This one is another one. This is a hard on dupe for Tiffany uh, Rose Gold, I think it's called. Even the bo bottle looks similar, but it smells like exact. Um, but yeah, this is giving sexy date night. I wish I didn't lose the top, but I just put it in the back of the collection. Um, but... Oh, it's like a spicy, like I get like cinnamon, lavender, blackberry, a little bit of wood. Teak wood is in this. I like it. And I think, and Tonka is in this too. I'm a big fan of Tonka. Um, this one, I haven't worn this in so long. Mm. Like I said, smell, if you've ever smelt tiffany rose gold this smells just like it it is called lux platinum by refuge get it at your local sephora and there is another one that i bought in one day oh i still got a lot to go through my bad <laughs> this one is another one beautiful bottle this one is another one from um no this one is from rue 21 i had to think um but it's sweet as a matter of fact, I'm going to put this on top of what I already got on. Yep, it's it's sweet. It's giving peach. It's giving grapefruit. Yeah, just sweet grapefruit. This is another one that would be good for the beach. And I wouldn't be upset if, like, I wasn't, if, like, TSA caught me and I couldn't bring it all the way back. But, yeah, this is, uh, I like this one, too. And the bottle, you can't get with it. I also lost the top to that one, too. So, um... Oldie but a goodie. I got this as a gift a while back and I use it. Um, it's Tease Rebel by Victoria's Secret. It is a fragrance mist, but it hits like a fragrance. It does stay on long. Um, if you're looking for like a dupe for this one, they smell so similar. It's crazy. They smell so similar. Um, but this one is Versace Bright Crystals. Another fresh scent like it pairs really good with sweet so yeah those two smell good paired together good i stay pairing my perfumes like you're not gonna catch me really not pairing it unless it's the valentino um but yeah these two are a good pairing together this one i did not think i was gonna like this one but this one was a gift from my brother and it's the fantasy by britney spears intense baby oh, she smells so good like another romance in the bottle this is a good uh date night scent as well um it gives you the playful girly like um it's cinnamon in this rosemary raspberry i think a little bit of tonka and another kind of wood is in this too i read the back of the box but I don't know. Like I said, I buy perfumes based off how they smell on me. So that's why I'm not bothering to give you guys the notes because it's all about how it smells on you. Baby girl right here was a blind buy. Glad I did it. Uh, this is the Elizabeth James Nirvana. She slept on. If you can find her at your local Kohl's, grab her. I got lucky and got this baby for $11 out of Kohl's. I don't know how this was $11. The staying power on this after I wash my clothes, like I can take a bath and Miss Bam is still on. This is a great business meeting, um, like accomplishment scent, like definitely graduation. It's giving, I just signed a million dollar deal. It's giving like, I'm that girl. Okay. So good. Yes. So 
so good. And even the box, look at the box, the container, the bottle. It's very sleek. It's given that black and gold. I love it. I love to pull this one out because people are always shocked, but yeah. And a lot of people were on to this one and I didn't even know. Like I didn't know what I was buying when I bought it, but I'm glad I bought it. So like I said, this video is running a little bit long, so I'm going to end up doing a part two with my other collection, but I wanted to show you guys one that I was happy about, but a little disappointed about that I bought. This was a blind buy. I brought so many videos on the Turquatic by Mac and some of the girls might get me for this one, but this is unisex and baby, it's giving cologne. That's all it's giving, cologne. Like, maybe it's the way it smells on me, but it's giving cologne. Present presentation, gorgeous, but it's giving cologne. So, uh, yeah. I'll be gifting this so but again the packaging beautiful takes you on experience very 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 fancy uh, nice packaging shout out to you Mac but it is considered a unisex and in my opinion personally it's giving cologne but yeah that's why she's in the drawer and out of here so but thanks for watching I wish I could have found oh, and I really need so oh no here she is hiding this is a little bitty baby and this is because I'm probably going to ask for this uh, for graduation. This is called Tonka 25 and it's by one of those fancy uh, rich brands, La, La, La Rouge, La, La something. Um, but Aaliyah, Aaliyah's face talked about this in one of her perfume hauls and baby, I went and got it and look at what's left. I don't use it much because this is another like... I just graduated nursing school um I, I i just i just signed a travel contract i just it's an accomplishment set so um i'll probably be wearing this one and this one together at graduation just because this has a hint of sweet in it and this one is very masculine it's giving teak wood it's giving tonka like what it says but definitely worth it and once i get my nursing paycheck this is probably the first expensive fragrance i'm gonna buy it's about three something for the smaller size and i'm definitely gonna cop it so yeah but that is all for part one of my perfume collection we will do part two at a later date and i will see you guys in the next one god loves you so do i happy new year and wishing you guys all the best